The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency, Interlux Marine Paint, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma. Hey folks, Fred Golafau here for the Fisherman's Video Forecast, and uh, no denying it, it's pretty cold outside, and it's probably going to stay that way for another day or so, but there is some warming coming up. Uh, I think Saturday is supposed to start off with snow, but then the temperature is going to continue to rise, and so uh, we can start giving some serious thought to fishing again. Um, you can cross blackfish off your uh, target list. Blackfish season closed uh, as of today, Thursday. A uh, couple of South Shore open boats closed out the season with a pick of fish on uh, some of the reefs and inshore wrecks. Um, the remaining trips now for most of these boats are going to be they're going to be targeting. Uh, Big sea bass, which is still uh, populating the offshore wrecks. It's also a good mix of cod on there, and you may even get uh, some wings, some uh, some bluefish, a few porgies. Uh, definitely uh, some mixed bag action. Um, don't forget too, sea bass season runs until the end of December, so you still have a couple of good weeks to get in on those big sea bass. Montauk is still solid action again with the big sea bass. Uh, Early this week, it still catches a lot of four to five pound fish. Uh, nice mix of cod. Again, cod numbers uh, really looking up, uh, especially on the east end. Uh, uh, porgy numbers seem to be down. Um, they're slowly fading away, but again, sea bass and cod more than make up for that action. Uh, there's several charter boats still running from Montauk. I know the uh, My Joyce had a really good day with jumbo sea bass, uh, good sized cod and uh, they also closed out the blackfish season with fish to 11 pounds. Uh, the Gen Glow has been running out of Orient Point to Block Island, uh, to the Block Island grounds, and uh, they're reporting loads of herring, which is attracting better sized cod. A lot of those fish falling into the teens, up to 20 pounds. Uh, we had one drop uh, the other day with, with 50 cod, and uh, Sunday's trip they counted over 70 cod, uh, plus lots of big sea bass and some, and some porgies. Uh, stripers are hanging in there. Uh, I spoke to uh, Craig Cantelmo from Van Stoll. Uh, yesterday he told me that Monday there were loads of little bass in the wash up on the North Fork, that Mattituck area. Um, Shinnecock Inlet got a report. One boatman, uh, he got out uh, uh, earlier in the week, found bass uh, chasing herring on the surface in Shinnecock Inlet. Uh, had a bunch of fish on live herring, nothing big, but up to like 30 inches, 31 inches. And and the fishing's still holding up well in the western sound, the far western sound. They're still catching fish up to 20, 25 pounds, you know, around the bridges and into the East River. That fishing's uh, still good. Uh, and uh, also New York Bite, they still had fish uh, going into, into this past weekend, catching fish up to 25 pounds, uh, being trolled. Uh, particularly like that Sandy Hook area. Uh, herring is settling in nicely, and this cold weather should help that uh, along even more so. Uh, on the west end, Canarsie Pier, 69th Street Pier, and the Sheep's Head Bay Boat Basin, according to Frank over at Bernie's, have all been uh, producing solid action with herring already. Uh, the North Shore, uh, that action spread. It had been concentrated to the west. Uh, now it's pretty much most of the harbors, like uh, Huntington, Cold Spring, uh, Hempstead and uh, all the way east to Mount Sinai now we'll, we'll producing herring. Uh, it's been a little slow uh, parts of the parts of the South Shore, some of the South Shore piers, but as I said, this cold weather should pick that pick that action up. And fluke season may be a long way off, uh, but the Mid Atlantic Fisheries Management Council is meeting uh, today in uh, Baltimore, Maryland, and that meeting may go a long way. Uh, towards shaping our 2017 fluke season. You know, there's already talk of a 30 to 40 percent reduction in the recreational fluke harvest. And so I'm going to sign off. I'm going to hand it over to uh, Jim Hutchinson. Uh, he's down there in Baltimore, and he's going to fill you in on what's happening down there today. Here at the Royal Sinesta Harbor Court Hotel in Baltimore, Maryland, right outside of where the folks, the Mid-Atlantic Fishery Management Council and the Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission are still meeting now. But on Wednesday, December 14th, they tackled the big issue for all of us in the region, and that was the fluke situation. Now, I gotta tell you that the official comments from here, from these folks, will not be ready until sometime next week. It turns out that New York wants to insert another option 
on top of the other five options that are already in place. That additional option that New York is going to put in by Monday morning will be raising the size limit one inch for every state along the Atlantic coast except for North Carolina because they don't have to take restrictions this year. It would also give every state a four fish bag limit. Some of the other options that are in that document that's going to come out next week that we'll get a, a hold of sometime before the holidays um, will, for example, if we either were to stay at state by state, Massachusetts, you wouldn't have to do much of a change at all. Uh, in fact, you could liberalize a little bit. Rhode Island, four at 18 inches, 105 days. But you look at Connecticut, New York, two at 21 with a day, uh, a fishing season of 55 to 66 days. So that's terrible. Other options that will be available, Massachusetts, five at 16, four at 17, even five at 17 with 132 days, where Rhode Island would be looking at four at 18, uh, for 117 days down to 88, also eight at 19 inches for a 245 day season. Again, New York, Connecticut, and New Jersey under many of these options would be in that same region once again, two at 19 inches ranging from 88 days to 107 days. So there are a lot of options in here. And again, we're waiting for those final numbers, that final, that final option coming from New York that's expected next week. Once these fishery managers look at that next week and finalize that, then we'll get a chance to look at it later on this month. And then you'll have the opportunity to provide some public comment on that. Your state representatives, I'm sure, will get involved. The final regulations will be uh, administered or laid out sometime in February when the Council and Commission gets together again. So as we have the updates, including these options that are going to be made available next week, you know we're going to post them at thefisherman.com, so stay tuned. Reporting from Baltimore, Maryland, for the Mid-Atlantic Fishery Management Council and the Atlantic States Marine Fisheries Commission meetings, I'm Jim Hutchinson from The Fisherman Magazine. The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency, Intelux Marine Paint, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma.